Hello, my friends. It's Nancy Bastien, and I've been making some beautiful snowflakes that you can hang on your Christmas tree. And I would like to show you how I made these. So come along with me, and I will show you what you need. And we will get started. So the first thing that you need is plastic. Now, um, plastic bottles will work. I haven't tried this because this one had all these lines on it, but I'm going to cut this and try it today. You're going to need a die cut, a steel rule die, your die cutter, a hole puncher, uh, scissors to cut up in your bottle. You're going to need some glass, gloss, gloss enamel paints. These are the ones that go on glass or plastic. They stick. And I put some uh, twinkling uh, paint. This is uh, Craft Twinkles, it's glitter paint. I put that on there. And then for the little dots on the end, I used my Twinkling Riders. I have it both in silver and gold. So, and I also did some little ones, but I didn't poke holes in these. I thought these would be fun for little embellishments. And what I used to make these was a packaging plastic. I got some uh, markers in this big box that came in, and I just cut up this plastic. But it's really quite stiff to run through your die cutting machine. It will go through, it will cut. But I want to try the bottle today and see what we get with the bottle. So I'm going to set all this aside. Oh, and you're going to need. Now, what I have is some stretch magic because it ties easier than um, this is for beading jewelry cord because it ties easier than um, the stiff kind that, or uh, fish line it ties easier than that and then I put a, a dab of glossy accents on the knot so it wouldn't come undone so let's get started first of all I'm going to move these to the side because we are going to have to cut our bottle open Ugh. and probably I'm going to need a craft knife to get it started so I'm going to get my handy dandy little craft knife here and I'm going to get my cutting board my mat cutting mat now this has where the label was on it was kind of sticky but it's not sticky it's just kind of got the markings on it but what I'm going to do is you don't need this part Basically, you're just going to cut from, you know, cut the bottom off and the top off. So I'm going to get started, maybe. Wow, that's hard. Well, my craft knife is bent. I need a new thingamabobber in it. I was opening um, cans the other day, pop cans, and I guess it bent it. So, let me see if I can find my tools here. Here they are. Nope, those are the itty bitty ones. Let me see if I can find my my craft. No, they're not in there. them in my little drawer here that I made out of the, the um, cardboard box. 
Well, I've got another knife in here, so I must have moved them out of here because they came open and I don't know where I put them. And these are the little ones that go in my little bitty craft knife. Hmm. I'll have to locate them again. I might have put them over here in this drawer. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not going to search for them. I'm going to try this knife. This one's just bent right over that tip of that one. Now, I never have lost the, the lid to this. I have had it for many, many years, and I've never lost the lid to it till just now. Do you see it anywhere on my desk? Do you see it? Do you see where it went? Where did I put it? It will show up. I'm sure it will show up. I will set it over here. Oh, it's on the end of the... Duh! It's on the end of it. Okay. So, we're going to get out this other craft knife. And see if we can open this bottle with that one. My goodness, these are harder to open than pop cans. scissors and cut the last part of that off. Okay, now I'm going to get the bottom part. Oh, that sounds terrible. Let me see if I can do it with scissors. Much easier and less squeaky. And I didn't kind of get it right, but that's okay. So I'm just going to cut up the center of this. And see what we get here. I don't think this is going to work. In fact, I know it's not going to work because it bends in here. So you need to find a bottle that looks like this, but this has my water in it and I didn't want to pour all my water out. So because it's treated water so it doesn't go moldy. But you need to get a bottle like this. This is a Shasta bottle and this one has doesn't cave in. So this is a kind of plastic bottle you'll need. This one was a dud, so I'll put it in the garbage. Okay, so we're going to use our plastic pieces. Now I have these little, these were the sides and the top, but these cut out my little, my little, um, my little, well, these are butterflies, but I have a snowflake. They cut out my snowflake. These are on the Movers and Shapers one. So those cut out those. And the bigger pieces will cut out my snowflakes. So I am going to find the lid to this. And it's right here. And I'm going to get my cut at my big shot, which is down here. And it has my die on it. And this is the. Where's the package to this so I can show you what it looks like? I've rearranged stuff in here and 
I can't find anything. Well, anyway, I can't find it right now. I don't want to take time. But believe me, it's it's a snowflake. There's a little one and a big one. And I'm shooting for the big one, but I think I cut these big enough that I could get both of them on one sheet, which I did. And we're going to roll that one through. And we'll get both of them. We're having an avalanche here. Sorry. I got some new dies in the mail today. Yay! For me. All right, let's get back to what we're doing here. I roll it through twice and maybe three times. And we'll see what we get. See if it cut all the way through. And you have to play with these to get them out. You have to, because this plastic is really hard. And you think it hasn't cut, but it has. It's just stubborn. Be careful because this is kind of pokey and it will poke you and could hurt you. Okay, there's one. You can't see it. There's one. You can't see it. Believe me, there's one. I don't have a piece of dark paper here to show you. There's one. And here's the second one I'm going to get out. This is the big one. And it doesn't want to come out. I'm going to have to take my uh, exacto knife to that and see if I can open it. Let's do another one. Well, we got them here. Let's just do them all. And it gets really hard to run it through. And I got two pieces of plastic here. That's why it's... I didn't know I had two pieces of plastic. Darn it. No, I only have one piece of plastic. I wonder why it's so thick. Okay, come on, little thing. There we go. There we go. Now, if you want to hang on to these, you can. They make good um, stencils, but I'm not going to hang on to them. Let's see if I can cut that one out. So now I don't have enough plastic to cut out the small one. I'm just going to get a little bit of it. But that's okay. Here we go. I'm going to run it through three times. Actually, four. In too many times because it's sticking into my die. It's 
okay. These dies are tough. They cut through steel. Oh, I didn't have it on there right. It didn't cut out the one little bubble. It only cut out half of it. Oh, well, that snowflake got ruined. And I don't know if there's enough. There's enough plastic there to cut out a little one. So, I'm going to cut that off. I can get that small one right there. I think Tim Holtz has new new snowflake dies out and I wish I had one of his newer ones alright here we go again with the big one I pick this piece of plastic out of my die I hate it when they get stuck in there I do, I do, I do. I hate it. But that's because I went too many times. Oh, I hope I don't ruin my die. Oh my goodness. It's really in there. Any suggestions how to get these out? Well, maybe they'll come out with my next run through. We can always hope. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got a piece stuck in there. Alright, I'm going to have to cut those out with my X-Acto knife. Whew. I'm not feeling so hot, guys, so bear with me, okay? I've been out of breath all morning, so I might have to take a anxiety medicine and I don't want to they make me go to sleep Okay. 
Yay, we got that one cut out. Now there's also little pieces that you have to get out of these. And one side's uh, embossed and the other side isn't. So you have a right and a wrong side to your snowflake. And let's see if I can get this one out. And then we'll start painting them. And I use a sponge to put the paint on with because I noticed when I was doing them that the brush it was didn't want to stick to it too good. Okay, come on, little snowflake. Get rid of this. It might help a little better. It's just one little corner in here. Come on, come on. I think your uh, soda bottles will be a little easier to cut. I'm sure they will be. Or a juice bottle or anything that's not too rounded. I should have bought a bottle of Shasta and have my husband drink it. Goodness, 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 this one doesn't want to come out. Oh, phew. Whew, that took a lot of work. Get all these little pieces. Okay. I think we are ready to start painting. all my little pieces out I'm sure that they will be a lot easier to cut out of a soda bottle okay so I have white, uh, blue, and some purple. I thought snowflakes could be different colors. They don't, and they don't have to all be white. So let's put some down here. 
and um, you don't need to really paint them on both sides but you do need to sparkle them on both sides and you'll be able to see them better once I get the paint on them okay I've got them all turned the right way let's do two at a time I guess so I'm going to do white and blue and get my little sponges here I just use makeup sponges and then I rinse them out and rinse them and use them again they don't go hard if you put them in water so let's see I keep grabbing this when it's got a little thing in it can't get all my little pieces out of it and there's no need to color those if they're just gonna fall out I'm sorry I don't have a darker piece of paper to paint these on I'm still struggling with these little pieces all right let's get some paint out here this is like blue blue it says blue I'm going to put some up there and this one's white and you wouldn't think the white shows up but it does it see it really really makes them come out pop out see that okay here we go so I even put a lot of paint on my sponge make sure I got it on the right side and you just sponge it on because you want to get a lot of paint on the plastic even need a little more I think yeah this is what I was having trouble with the brush it just would brush right off it went stick on there Okay, so there's the blue one that I just stuck my fingers in. And I want to set it to the side. It doesn't take long for them to dry. I just want to pick it up and put it over to the side. And I'll do our white one. Can you see them coming to life or not yet? I know it's kind of hard and I'll pull you in a little bit, but then I always forget. I always get out of frame, so I will bring the camera this way a little. And you'll be a little closer so you can see the color come on them.
Okay, so I'm going to set that over there to dry. I'm going to get a little one. Do a little one with this blue and use up this blue. Oops. See? The inside is not out of this. See that? Those are the little pieces you got to get out. You can't see that, can you? Alright, I'm going to set this over to the side to dry. Put a little more paint on that end. And let's grab another piece of paper here. Let's do a purple one. And sometimes you have to come back and put a second coat on them. And I just want to kind of sparkle mine up because they're just kind of dull with just paint on them so you can just if you don't have the sparkle paint you can just put it on with you can put glitter on you can use glue and put glitter on them or you can put glitter on them when you're painting them so I'm going to set that one over here to dry and I'm going to bring my white one back in oh Belle stop barking put a little more white on that one I think pink would be pretty but I don't think I have any pink gloss enamels I'm going to have to kill me a dog. Not really, not really. I didn't really say that. Don't take me serious, guys. I'm just going to have to get after her for barking. She's on the back of the couch, which is by the window, which she sees everybody outside walking by, or she sees the neighbors next door, or whatever, across the street, and she starts barking. Hang on, I'm going to see if I have some pink gloss paint. I'll be right back. Yay! I found some! It's Pink Rose! Ray, yay, yay! I need to get a different, a new piece of paper. Hang on a minute. I don't want to dip these in. I just have this paper that's newsprint. And I just tear it in half. And then I have some clean and dirty, and when it dries, I can put it back on. So let's do some pink ones. Let's do this last big one. And oh little one in pink and a little one in
purple, I think, or white maybe. I don't know. Maybe I want them all pink. Send one to Stacy for her pink. For her pink tree she has. Let's see how this comes out. Oh, yeah. Pink it is. I don't do a tree for Christmas. Um, we have just a little tree that we have fiber optic uh, lights on and you don't decorate it. But I think I'm going to hang these in my window. Perhaps. That one's pretty. I think I'm going to do them all pink. All that's left. I guess you can't see where I have my paint. I have my paint back here. When I pulled you in that um kind of took it away from where I was painting. No, you can't be empty. I've never used you. These gloss enamels, this one's glitter. Oh, this one's a glitter gloss enamel. I wonder if I have more that are glitter. I didn't look. I thought this was different. My goodness, I'm going to have to go look. See what happens when you don't use your paints? And you don't remember what you have? Let me go see if I've got more glass, gloss, in glitter enamels. I'll be right back. My goodness, I found white, purple, blue. Oh, cool. So now I'm going to do a purple one with the glitter paint. The gloss enamel glitter. You better shake it up. I am so glad I noticed that and found it. So now I get glitter on it too. All in one shot. So now I'm going to paint the back side of them. This is the deformed one. I'll show you. It got. It got its. It got its little knobby thing cut off. See, uh, the autofocus isn't on. Okay, I'm going to set that back over here to dry. Let's bring the blue one in, and we'll do the blue. We have another blue one. Ooh, explosion.
I must have used these on something because they've got goobers on the top. But I forgot I had these in the glitter. Yay for me. These didn't have their things poked out. <laughs> Where's my pokey tool? Pokey tool, here you are. Didn't have the little thingies poked out of the the snowflake. It's got to have holes in it. Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Okay, let's turn this paper. Oh, let's do this one. to see what it looks like on the back side. Well, it's you can still see glitter on the back side. But I think I want to paint the back side of them. Let's do the white one now. Let's get rid of this paper and put a dry one down. And let's do the white. You can't blow these dry because it will melt your plastic. Unless you want curled up plastic, you can blow it dry. I imagine if you held it high enough over your project, it would work, but they don't take very long to dry. They don't really take hardly at all to dry. But, let's see, that one's a little tacky still. Turn it over and see if I can put some pink on it on the back side. How do you get your dog to quit barking? How do you train dogs to stop barking? Especially dachshunds. Elizabeth and I have problems with our dachshund dogs. They want to let us know that there's burglars. There might be burglars across the street. But they're going to let us know. Now that turned out nice. Let's do this one on the back side. Need some more paint. So I think we can not have to put sparkle paint on it because we've got this on it now. And it shows the sparkles. Let me show you. I'll put the autofocus on. There, can you 
Come on, autofocus. Come on, baby. You can do it. There we go. Can you see the sparkles? Cool, huh? Now we need to do the blue. I have things falling everywhere. This is the back side, so let's do the blue. Yep. Let's do this one on the back side blue. And let's do the purple one on the back. Did we already do the purple one on the back side? No, it doesn't have any on the back side. I have been so not feeling good that I've lost 13 pounds. Yay for me! Yay for me! I'm so glad I need to lose about 75 more. And I'll be back down where I want to be. Alright, I'm going to let those dry. And we'll be back. I'm going to clean up my mess here. And we'll be back to put the... Uh, little writer dots on them and I'll see you in a minute okay they're all dry so now we're gonna put the we're not gonna have to put any more glitter on them because they're pretty glittery I'll put the autofocus back on so you can see how glittery they are see how glittery both side, I painted both sides. So I don't think I want any more glitter on them. Let me look at these over here that I finished. And they're about the same. Can't tell much difference. So now's the time that we put our little dots on the end. And I got gold on the white one there, so I think I'm going to put silver on this one and see how it looks. And then I'll put a little piece of paper under it. Shake this up pretty good. I usually keep them tipped upside down because all the stuff is at the bottom. All the sparkly stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little dot out here. All my sparkly stuff isn't quite down mixed up yet. That glitter wants to sink to the bottom.
Okay. So I'm just going to go around and put a dot on each one of these little tips of these snowflakes. That didn't have any glitter in it. Now give it another shake. Oh. That just ran right out. Let's be careful. Okay. Now I'm going to set this to the side for them to dry. And I'm going to do these. I think I'm going to do these in silver, the blue ones. Now we have to wait for this to dry. I'm going to move that one. Let's see. I'll get my little spatula here. There we go. That just makes them really pretty. And then we're going to have to turn them over and do it on the other side. But before we do that, after these dry, I'm going to show you how to punch a hole in them. Now I think I'm going to do purple one in gold. These would be really nice to send to people in uh, Happy Mail because they're not heavy at all. They're real light. Okay, I'm going to see if that one runs out, spurts out. This one's a little thicker. I'm even going to put it on the half cut one. Oh, goody, I got one of my hairs. How lovely. I know that's my hair because it's curly curly and I have curly curly hair. I'm going to put some gold on I think these little ones. Little pink ones.
So that's kind of thick. And now it's not coming out. Let's see what's going on with it. I hope that doesn't go spurting out on me. There's no glitter in that one. I wonder what the problem is. Okay. I'm afraid this is just going to go spurting out because I'm pushing it really hard. But the gold gets stuck in there for some reason. I'm trying to find my pin. I don't see it. Hang on a minute, I gotta stand up here and get my pen. Poke that in and see what's going on with that nozzle. Should be better now. Let's see. Okay. Still not coming out very good. Not as good as I want it to. What is going on? Crazy stuff. Maybe we'll just go to silver. Just getting stuff on there with no stuff in it. Oh, see? See? I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. Well, we got some out there, didn't we? Okay, we'll just use this piece of paper and continue on. Now it just really wants to run out of there. Okay, where's my little spatula? I'll go with this one with gold on it. And I have gold all over my fingers. Look, I'm gold. I'm sparkly. See, I'm sparkly. Silver and gold in the sunlight planes. Romance lies in the sun.
but I think they're talking about silver and gold in the mines in that song. Let's go with silver on this one. I just ordered me some uh, mirror paper so that I can cut out my Christmas words that I just ordered and got the die in the mail today with the Christmas words. I don't know why because I don't give out cards. I don't, well, I am for the church, but that's all. All right, I'll be back when these are dry and we'll punch the holes and do the other side of the with the glitter on the tip but we'll punch the whole person and bead it or string it up for you so we won't have to wait for another hour or two till these are all done it probably won't be back until tomorrow because it's getting late and it's getting in the basement and it's getting dark down here Lighting's not very good when it's dark down here, and I don't like to be down here by myself in the dark. I just don't, it's creepy down here in this basement. It's just creepy. And I'm full of glitter. Yummy, yummy. I'm shining with glitter. All right, guys, I'll be back probably tomorrow. Hi. I'm back and they're dry and they stuck together anyway <clears throat> they're all dry so we need to do the backs but I'm going to show you how to punch the holes okay now on these <clears throat> these I used this punch and it's just itty bitty I don't know if you can see it or not see how little that punch is that hole well it got they would get stuck in there and I couldn't you know I had a hard time getting them out and I was bending them and all kinds of stuff so I thought we could use the little hole on the crocodile and see how that works and I try to find one of these spoke things this in between and I'm going to put it in there and I'm going to try and put it down on kind of the fatty part of it. And I'm going to line it up in there as best I can. I don't know if you can see that. And punch a hole. And there you go. And there's your hole. Now with the little one I could get it up here closer. I'm going to try to get it up. And the other ones, I'm trying to get it closer to the edge. Just try. I'm just going to try. Now, some, some of these spokes are longer than the other ones. So, I'm going to try and get it closer to the edge if I can see it without making too big of a hole to go all the way through it so I did I and it's really close to the edge it's really close to the edge it's my autofocus on you see that hole right there it's really close to the edge <laughs> but it'll be all right <coughs> So I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do all of these. I'm going to find me a spoke here. This seems to be the longer one. And I'm going to get it in there and 
hopefully I now it's down a little further but let's let's beat it up and see what happens to it so I have this cord and I like this cording because I told you yesterday that you can tie it easy so I just pull me off a piece you know yay so and cut it and thread it through the hole and I double tie it not double tie it I over I take it two ends together and you know tie it like that I pull it really tight and then I put a drop of glossy accents on it and I have my glossy accents in one of these little doohickers these fine line writers and I just put a dab on that can you see let's see how far out you are let me can you see and I just put a little dot on it and this doesn't plug up normally because it has that um, little needle that goes on it and I just let that sit and dry okay and that's how you beat them or thread them or whatever that's how you do it I'm trying to get my thing back in my glossy accents and see it has that little needle that goes in there so now on these, I don't know where I'm going to put a hole in them. I guess I'll put a hole in them right in the center of the cross. Let's see. Where's my crocodile here? I want the little side. And I can push that. Let's see. So I got it right in the center of that cross right there. <clears throat> not hard. They're not hard to make. And I heard last night on Stacy's live Saturday night live show that our challenge this month is Christmas decorations or cards. Well, I don't do cards. But I can send some of these out in for Christmas decorations for sure. I can, I can. I'm going to cut that off. It's a little long. If your ends are a little long, you can cut them off. So I'm just going to set these to the side and I'll put glossy accents on them. When I get them all done. Oops. So I'm just going to continue on and that's how we do it and then I will go ahead oh my gosh I did that that one went off of the edge look at that I boo-booed look at that come on focus I went off the edge see that so be careful I'll keep this one for I don't ever do a Christmas tree so I will redo that and make sure I get it in the center get more in the center I can pull this back a little further maybe not maybe that's as far back as it'll go well it did move so I can pull it back and get it in there. Sometimes it's hard to see. Oh my gosh, I did the whole thing off. Well, this one's ruined. So be careful when you do that. I think I'll do, I'll try this one. Because I can see this one better. 
You can see where I'm punching it and it's a little bitty hole. But see how it gets stuck in there? It gets stuck on there. Well, it it did it. Now, see, I did an itty bitty hole right at the top of that. Come on, focus. There, see. I did an itty bitty hole. I don't know how that's gonna hang. It's hard for me. I need my glasses, and I don't know where they are. I think they're upstairs. It's hard for me to see these clear ones. These ones that aren't painted so dark. It's hard for me to see. So I'll just make another one of those pink ones. I haven't gotten any waterfall journals. I didn't get one in the mail. I did not get one. I'm not complaining. I just didn't get any. I sent some out, but I didn't get any in return. How sad. My name's at the very end. <laughs> it's in the ends. All right. Let's see if we can do this one without mucking it up without mucking it up it's sad that I mucked that other one up like I said they're hard to see Yeah, I'm going to do the little one because I'm afraid I'm going to muck them all up. So if you have one of these little punches, and if you don't have a punch at all, you can use your pokey tool or you can use a nail. And it's stuck on there, guys. See, this is what I was saying. But it, it's, it's okay. All right. So, I'm going to get all these poked and thread it up, and I'll be right back. Okay, I got them all punched and beaded and now we can go ahead and I'm not beaded put the stuff in them and now we can go ahead and fill I think this is one I already had made I don't remember anyway we can put our stuff on the back side of them so this one has gold so I'm going to turn it over and on the back side I'm just going to go in the little oh, I need a piece of paper and see I need to shake this I think I had it upside down but you never know and then it's going to explode coming out I think no, it's going to behave. It's been a little, it's a little chilly down here in the basement, and so it's, my paints are kind of cold. All right, here we go. Just going to put it on the back side. Just so they will show through when they spin on the 
Now it's plugged up again. Darn it. The gold one seems to do this quite often. And then it poofs out like it did here. It doesn't mix up with the stuff. Okay. Because we want them to look pretty on the back side too. Yeah, am I in frame here? And you want to make sure you don't get it on your your beading thing, and I don't know how I'm going to not do it, but on your tie. Okay, I'm going to move it over here, set it over here to dry. Let's see, which other ones did we do gold? This one. This one got a half of one, remember? So we'll do the little half. Because it's got to look pretty too. Now I put too many holes in this one. And also another thing these are good for is to tie around a bottle of sparkling. If you're going to take a bottle to somebody's house for a dinner or something and you're going to take a bottle of wine or a bottle of sparkly stuff, you can tie this around the front of it and then they'll have a little Christmas ornament and a, a uh, yeah, and a bottle of sparkly. So we're going to go to a Christmas dinner at some friend's house and that's what I have planned. And I'll make her one of these and tie it around the bottle and then I'm making sure I shake this up good. See, it's got that white stuff that it's not mixed with the sparkles. And I had these turned upside down. Okay, let's see if we got sparkles yet. Yep, and it's real runny, so I have to be real careful. Get little doodotties. My husband's cooking bacon. Set that over there to dry. Next, next on the board here. I gotta go round up some more plastic. Make some more. I have to go buy a Shasta bottle. I can't remember how many we're supposed to make. That's got a bubble in it. I've never seen that get a bubble in it. But it has a bubble right here. How rude. There it popped. And I got to remember to put glossy accents on all of these ends so my knots don't come untied. Can you see what I'm doing here, guys? It's, not, it's just repetitive.
and some of them have curled up and that makes them look cool like that one and our last one here I do think I'm going to hang some of these in my window. I think they'll be pretty hanging in the window, except for people can't see because my windows are tinted. So people can't see in. And I don't put lights up around my windows or anything. Okay, so now we are done. We are finished except for putting the glossy accents on to the ends and make sure you get your fingers in all that sparkly stuff because it really makes you sparkly and makes you cool looking even when you get it under your fingernails yeah all right guys thanks for watching thanks for being with me through all the parts of this but I'm going to combine it into one video so Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment and share. Share me around. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.